Welcome, travelers, to my realm of nightmares. Allow me to be your personal assistant. Come in, take a seat, get comfortable. For when you step into my realm, there's no stepping out. It is time for another desperate tale thought up by a desperate individual. It is time for another desperate tale. It is time for a desperate vigil. It is time to acknowledge the truth, as I've been told that I frame my emotions through the use of a narrative. My trauma is the prose, and my torment is comparative. There is no glory here, as the walls continue to whisper. My name is firmly upon their lips, and the meaning could not be crisper. I am broken, I am torn, and I am beaten upon the floor. I am broken, I am torn, and I am the hero, no more. I am no longer the protagonist. I am no longer the center of my reality. I am no longer the hero of this tale. My sense of self has a noticeable disparity. The truth has been exposed, and my experiences are all an act. The truth has been exposed. The truth is an inescapable fact. As the light falls slowly upon me, as I cower amongst the dirt, I know the dirty ramifications, and I know too well the hurt. So, leave me within the storm, haunted within the maze of cobwebs, all alone. Leave me with all my rancid regrets, because, after all these years, I am finally home. The curtain is slowly setting. Craft a story to bury that pain. Mark your own arc of redemption, so your pitiful pain is not spent in vain. Relish in your own torment and extinguish that remaining light. In this little play, there is no feeling no anguish or any fight. As the curtain slowly drops, and your mistakes are your only sight, just remember that you did this to yourself, and remember to exit stage right. It is raining again, to be fair, did it ever falter? It is clearly raining again, to be fair, did the weather ever alter? The rain falls heavy above me. As I look up, and meet his unsteady gaze. His eyes are a well of fear. His eyes are a well of haze. There is only darkness here, and the demonic presence within my core. I have spent two nights within myself, and showered within my lore. And what have I finally learned? My story is nothing but a fabrication. And what little truth I have uncovered? My life is nothing but procrastination. I am nothing but a madman. I am no longer steadied by the threads of reality. I am no longer considerably adjusted. My sense of worth has a noticeable disparity. I rise up from the floor, breathing heavy as the storm grows violent. I rise up from the floor. His lips move, but he remains silent. Hatred settles upon me. As the walls scream with a glee. I slowly move towards him. As the walls freely beg me to be free. So leave me within the storm. With only the strands of my past. All alone. Leave me alone with all of my sorrow. Because after all these years. I am finally home. The curtain is slowly setting. The narrative is just insane. Make your very own arc of redemption. So your pitiful pain is not spit in vain. Relish in your own suffering and extinguish that remaining light. In this little play, there is no redemption, only anguish and plenty of fright. As the curtain slowly drops 
and your regrets are your only sight, just remember that you did this to yourself, and remember to exit stage right. I moved into him as his questions came real slow. I moved slowly into him. Sir, do you have some place to go? The irony of his words burned perfectly through the dead of the night. Their meaning carries a weightly weight. My chest is feeling tight. Time around us slows to a halt as it closed into his proximity. The seconds are nothing but ash. The notion has little validity. How did it come to this? My mind moves back as he trembles slightly. And how did it come to this? The recollection burns through me so very brightly. Unique position offered for unique individual, it had read. If only I knew what would come. I knew what I would have said. My mouth opens slightly as I know that I cannot take any more. My mouth opens slightly and with no restraint, I finally roar. Night watchman required urgently for five nights a week. Fate has the cruelest of jokes, it seems. A truth I had never thought to seek. I do not care what the paper says. I care little for the insults that come. So screw this place and screw your face and also screw Mary's son. And while we're at it, my mother can do one too because her hatred was always so coy. Through her terrible blackened teeth, she could not see I was just a sad boy. The blackness within me will not take me, and there is not a single thing that can save me, so just leave me well alone. My fate has always been here. My fate has always been fear. Can't you see that I'm finally home? So take the cliches away. There is no bucket left to sway my path any other way than the one that brought me here. So take your lying face away. There are no words left to say. That much is now abundantly clear. So listen when I say this, and please do listen clear. Listen when I say this. This is something that I need to hear. My mother is dead. Clark is in my head. I deserve my dread. I leave my pain in my stead. Drayton Pass is where I belong. I have been here so long. All I do is wrong, and this storm is my song. So listen when I say this, and please do listen clear. Listen when I say this. This is something that I need to hear. I am a two-dimensional character, and a predictable one of that. It is clear that I will rot here forever, and that is just a fact. Drayton Pass is where they sent a young boy to die. Drayton Pass is my forever, and that forever will always be my lie. The current is slowly setting. The lies you tell yourself are a drain. Make your own arc of redemption, so your pitiful pain is not spent in vain. Relish in your own doing, and extinguish that remaining light. In this little play, there is no escape. The walls are watertight. As the curtain slowly drops, and your regrets are your only sight, just remember that you did this to yourself, and remember to exit stage right. Tonight's story was Exit Stage Right by Raymond Beeman. If you enjoyed this, chances are you'll enjoy the rest of this content. I will have all of his social media links in the description below. Please check them out and let them know PA sent you. Hey, did you know I have merch? Well, I do, crazy, right? If you like to walk around representing my realm and gaining new travelers, the links to my merch store as well as all of my other social medias will be in the description below. As always, I'd like to say a special thank you to all my lovely Patreons. 242 Reads Seraphine, the Midnight Bard Creepy Clown Girl Mia Mina Philia Noctis Hair Raising Narratives Nightmare's Mistress Lycan Trucker and Nathaniel Nelson 
If you'd like to join these lovely travelers by letting my fire, you can do so by becoming a patron as well. Just remember the support is always appreciated, but it's never expected. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ding that bell if you're new for all future content, as will really help push this video into the algorithm and helps the channel grow. But as always, travelers, once you step into my realm, there's no stepping. Ah. Uh.